Tendon pain can be seriously annoying and really impact your life, and unfortunately it sometimes won't go away without specific treatment. And no matter what type of tendon pain you're having, whether it be rotator cuff, Achilles, patellar, or any other tendon in your body, there are general principles that you must follow in order to finally get control of it. So to help you along the recovery journey, we will be covering 7 mistakes people make when treating chronic tendon pain, and provide you with actionable advice to speed up recovery. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Physio Show. It may be surprising, but relying too much on rest can actually make chronic tendon pain worse. While you will definitely want to modify your activities initially, resting can lead to deconditioning and further muscle weakness, which is the opposite of what you want in this situation. While it may temporarily reduce discomfort, it does not address the underlying issue of tendon weakness, which is the most common cause of chronic tendon pain. Instead, it is key to focus on gradually reintroducing activities and exercises that strengthen the tendon, even if it means starting slowly and gradually increasing intensity. Research has clearly showed that exercise is the most fundamental element in tendon recovery. Gradually increasing the load on the tendon through targeted exercises helps to build up its tolerance to everyday activities. A tailored exercise program that challenges but doesn't overstress the tendon is key. It's a balancing act between sufficiently loading the tendon to promote strength gains while also not overloading it where it becomes inflamed. In a vast majority of cases, tendinopathy will not improve without strengthening. And while the hands-on treatment can be very beneficial to calming pain down initially, this is not the long-term answer. You're not going to stretch or massage your way out of this problem. This is because these passive treatments do not address the root cause of the chronic tendon pain, which again stems from underlying strength deficits of the tendon and muscles. This includes avoiding over-relying on injections for relief, as they may not offer long-term benefits and can even worsen outcomes with repeated use. Don't fall into the trap of getting an injection and then stopping exercise because it feels better. I can't tell you how many people I have seen waste the window of relief just to have symptoms return because they didn't follow through with rehab. So use these strategies sparingly to manage pain initially, but make sure to prioritize active treatments like exercise, which directly strengthen the tendon and improve its resilience. And as you focus on strengthening exercises, make sure to continue to be mindful of activities that excessively strain the tendon, such as repetitive motions or high impact activities. Those who perform manual labor or are required to perform repetitive tasks may need to utilize some form of bracing to unload the tendon or find other ways to perform the task that doesn't put so much strain through the tendon. For example, if running exacerbates your tendon pain, consider switching to lower impact activities like swimming or cycling until the pain subsides. I included some links to bracing options for various types of tendon pains that can be helpful in unloading painful tendons. Check them out if you're interested. And if you're liking this video, make sure to give it a like to help us grow and continue providing you with all the answers to your rehab related questions. A big misunderstanding when managing tendon pain is that the image doesn't always explain the entire story. Don't be alarmed by imaging findings that show tendon abnormalities. Research shows that many people with no pain at all also exhibit these changes. Even those with more severe signs of tendon changes, or even tears, can actually do quite well if rehabbed appropriately. So don't just give up because of your MRI results. While tissue health is a factor, this information really has minimal influence on how the condition will be managed conservatively, as you're still going to be continuing to focus on regaining strength and modifying your activities to avoid excessively irritating the tendon during daily work and exercise activities. So remember to focus on managing pain and improving function through targeted treatment treatments like exercise, rather than fixating on what the MRI said and jumping to surgery. Because believe me, tendon recovery after surgery is not easy. Now because not all tendons have the same function or experience the same loads on a day-to-day -day basis, working with a healthcare professional such as a board certified orthopedic physical therapist to develop a personalized exercise plan based on your specific symptoms and goals would be incredibly valuable. Over time, as your tendons get stronger and your tolerance to movement improves, the exercise intensity and complexity needs to also increase to further enhance the tendon's resilience to stresses of daily life. But this requires a highly structured and customized exercise plan, so invest in yourself and seek out those who know what they're doing. As mentioned earlier, research shows that exercise is the very best treatment for tendon pains. But unfortunately, research also shows that tendon recovery takes a long time, even with a comprehensive exercise plan. 
This is because we are at the mercy of body remodeling and getting stronger, which takes time and consistency through stimulation of exercise. This is why many often struggle with tendon rehab. It's not that they actually didn't respond, they just didn't give it enough time or effort. How much time will it take? Well, research shows that the tendons can take up to three to six months of consistent controlled loading to remodel and get stronger. So be patient with the process and resist the temptation to seek quick fixes like injections or surgery. These are not going to fix the strength of the tendon. Stay consistent with your exercise program even if progress seems slow, and trust that gradual improvements will lead to long-term relief and functional gains. Tendon pain can be a significant limitation to daily life, but it doesn't have to be a permanent one. Remember that there are general principles for recovery that should be followed, no matter what type of tendon pain you are having. By avoiding these common mistakes and following these key tips, you can regain control of your tendon health and speed up your journey to recovery. Remember, it's about embracing exercise, modifying load, and personalizing your approach with patience and consistency. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Physio Show. Don't forget to give the video a like so it can spread and help more people. And subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about your body, how it works, and what it needs to keep moving.